Hello everyone! This is Loopyless and welcome back to Planet Zoo, where we are in franchise mode and I haven't played this in quite some time. But the plan is today, and maybe for a couple of good episodes, I am going to be making some kind of little monkey sanctuary, with the inspiration taken from the most recent community challenge, where you have to breed and, well, you have to release bonobos to the wild, so that's where the inspiration has come from. Now I've already done a bit of pathing. We're going with the old dirt path. Now the idea for this is basically this is going to be like a little entrance thing. It's going to be something nice and lovely but there, something pretty. And then this is going to be like an information center with like maybe a food store, maybe a drink store, maybe like the toilets and stuff like that. But yeah, that's where we're starting with and yeah. So don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and even comment down below with what you think. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe as well. So let's get into things. So the reason I'm doing a little bit more pathing here is mainly because I had the idea that actually, just maybe, we could have maybe like the staff room here with two big exhibits here, maybe like small ones actually. So just something really simple. I might actually get rid of this path here just because we could have the central staff member area right here and I think that could be pretty cool actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ready with some staff paths right there. Just make them small, nice and simple. Have it going along there, maybe like that. Actually, wait, wait, no, what we'll do, what we'll do is we will have it go around. Actually, wait, let me just unclip that and go here like so. And then we're going to just make it like that. And I think that would be more of an idea because then we can have the building go inside there. Will it let me branch off this way? Yes, it will. And I think this could be a pretty cool idea. So you now have like a little staff area. I don't know if that's going to be big enough, actually. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it is. I don't think it will be, though. We might have to reconsider certain things, but let's give it a go and start placing down some facilities. So, what do we need? We need an animal trade center for stars. Actually, no, I think this will be big enough. I was thinking of the uh, veterinary surgery and stuff like that, it's quite big. But if we do it like that, make sure it's right in the corner, like so. I think we'll be able to go away with this, you know? It's right there. Maybe bring it forward a bit. No, I think that's too much. About there, it'd be fine, I think. And then on the opposite side. Ooh, actually, that's not that's not good, is it? It's a bit big. To be put there. Actually, we can have a smaller building. If I put that there. Yes, yes, we can. Okay, so no, this is going to work out fine. This is actually going to work out pretty well. It's a little gap there, but we'll uh, we'll work with that. We'll work with that. Actually, is there a gap? Yes, there's a slight green gap there. That's fine. There's no gap on this side, but that'll be okay. All right, so we've got a staff room there. Uh, we're gonna have a keeper hut right in the middle right here, I think. That would be probably the best thing. Actually, no, we'll have that at the back. We'll have that just there. And then the trade center can go next to it, just like that. So, yeah. All right, so let's see. We need a workshop too. We need a workshop. I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit funny today. I don't know what's going wrong with it. I got a drink right here. What is happening with that path? Oh, why'd you gotta be like that? Why's it gotta be like that? I can't turn it that way. Why's the path gonna go weird? Oh well, well we'll have... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see how we wanna do this because actually, let me take those away because we need to put the quarantine down as well just in case we need that. So maybe if I just put that there, Maybe we should have the big buildings next to each other. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that'll be the best idea, actually. And then we can have the Keeper Hut just at the back here, like so. And the Animal Trade Center. And then on this side, we could also go for the Research Center and the Workshop. 
Is there anything I'm missing? I don't think there is, except for power, which we'll probably need. So this can be probably in this nook right here, actually. We might be able to get away with a little insidey bit. Is that the right face in the right way? Yes, it is. We might be able to get away with that. And then that'll be closed off. You won't be able to see that. And I think this should be okay. I think this is this is gonna be okay. Now, when it comes to the construction side of things, I am not sure what to do. I'm not quite sure what kind of theme to go with. We are in an African tropical area, so maybe going African could be the route, like the African theme. It could be the route. I don't know, let's have a look at what all the walls are, those mud walls. But what we could do is we could have a logs. I think this might actually work out. I think let's, uh, let's just start doing it. We'll do it real simple to begin with. Just to get a decent idea of what we're going for. Right, so we need that to go there. So we need to close this area up. Whoops. There we go. So then this will be like an inside thing. It'll be covered over. You won't be able to see it. In fact, let me just remind myself that I'm doing that by putting a path through here. Is it going to let me? Ooh, might have to do angle snap off. Bring that just like that. Make sure you can connect into there, and I think that'll be beautiful. All right, go back to construction, and we will do this now. Okay, so this does look pretty boxy at the moment, but we will work on that in time we might even change the roof up and uh, switch that around but at the moment this is what we're looking at that is going to be okay for the moment now we want to work on the first habitat so what do we want i mean we could go with bonobos let me just reset the filter and let's see what we've got in here let's see i don't think i've got any actual animals that are monkeys currently in my storage so we are gonna have to do some shopping but we love doing that japanese macaque that is technically a monkey definitely technically a monkey mandrills have i missed any i don't know but we'll select as many as we can see lemurs of course and yeah let's have a look i think okay western chimpanzee and the lowland gorilla all right so i think let me just double check i think that's all of them I might have missed one. I feel like I missed one. But we'll see, we'll see. We got, I think, uh, let's see how the prices are at the moment. So ringtails are going quite cheap. The uh, Colombian white-faced capuchin monkey is going pretty cheap. The little ones are actually going kind of cheap. So let me just see. I think actually what we could do is we could start with the bonobos or the western chimpanzee. Let's see the price on them and we'll go from there. We'll go from there then. We'll work on the uh, other ones later on. Let's see. Filter, if the button works. Okay, so, bonobos. We have a couple here. What is their age range, just so I know I'm getting the right ones? Okay, it's 40 years. It's the life expectancy. Okay, so we have some room when it comes to the age. So let's see, we got a good number of them in here. Look at that. All right, I want to make sure we're getting really good genetics because it helps with uh, breeding in the future. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got some really good chimpanzees there. Let's bring these down just a notch. Okay, so it looks like all of these boys right here are from the same zoo. So we don't want that really. We want them to be in different zoos. I might have to bring these down again. Let's make sure there's a high longevity gene. Let's just do that for now and just see what we get. We get more chimpanzees again. They're still, oh, I don't know. They're still from the same zoo. Oh no, this is from a different one. Albino, hmm. All right, I'm gonna, this is gonna take me a sec to actually pick them, one second. Okay, so I have bought three bonobos, so we are going to work on their habitat now. So let's see what we need to do. 
We need tropical, we need African, we need to make sure- there's some water. I didn't know they needed water. Oh, I see. There's different boundary requirements, right? Ah, okay. Oh, you can block them away from- with water now. I see. Okay, we need a grade three boundary. I think we'll go for walls for now. Probably concrete, I think, will be okay for the moment. But I'm not sure. I would have liked to go with logs, but of course that's not gonna work. So, I think what we're gonna do is I think this whole area will be for the bonobos. I think that'll work fine. What I might do is I might do some terrain, terrain changes now if I can speak. Just bring it down a little bit. Let's bring that down. Actually, what we could do is we could go for a rock barrier. I think that might be the most effective here. So what we'll do, we'll just bring it down just a notch, mainly in this area. We could have concrete at the back, I suppose, but I didn't really want to use concrete. I mean, I suppose we could go with the water method, but I think that's going to reduce the amount of land that they have. Hmm. I think we'll leave it like this for now. Make sure there's a bit of a incline when it comes to uh this bit so that we can have the zookeepers come in and out as they please just like that we'll have a door there and then we're gonna just make sure there's like a little bit of an incline here with a decline pushed in and we're gonna have just a tiny bit of water just a tiny bit we're gonna make this a bit bigger as well just to differentiate the land just a little bit just a little bit. We are going to get rid of this grass, though. Oh, that's not going to... That is definitely too much water. Wait, wait, wait. Let's fix this. Let's fix this a little bit. We should be able to fit a little bit of water in there. Just something that they can drink from. I think that would work just fine. Okay, so what we're going to do... I think rocks could be the best maneuver here, but we will have to put a barrier around... A null barrier so we'll do that now okay so the null barrier is taken care of and now all we gotta do is put a little door on here and like say about right there and we can start making the habitat Okay, so this is what we are looking at at the moment. Now, I do think it's a little bit wild in places, so what I might do 
because their moving area is actually a little bit smaller than I intended. So I might get rid of some of these bushes, just a little bit, just to make things a little bit more clearer. Uh, maybe not that one, maybe move this one. And just make things a little bit better. And I think that looks a bit better. We'll take that away. Just make it a little bit less wild so they have more movement space. I think that'll probably be the best thing for them. Let's see if they still got enough moving area. They have a little bit more. It's still not enough though. Why can't you guys get up here then, I wonder? I mean, you should be able to. Is it because of this log? What if I got rid of that? Let's just test that out. Can you climb up there now? I'm not the best at, um, I'm clicking you. There we go. I'm not the best at the climbing frames, but I do try. Can you not get up there? Is it not possible for them to land there? Is it because of the grass? Is it because of the grass? It says you have no hard shelter now. It says they have no hard shelter. But why? I guess they can't go under there. Maybe, just maybe. Let me just try this. Let me try this. If I grab all of that, but not all of that, and just lift it a little bit. That's really high. I didn't lift all of it. No. Oh, wait. Undo that. Cancel that. Let's make sure we've grabbed everything because I don't want to leave anything behind. Do that better. Like so. Now we are still grabbing onto things that we don't want to grab. Is everything grabbed? No, I don't think that is. Is that grabbed? No, it wasn't. Is it? That looks grabbed, doesn't it? Alright, let's try it. Let's try. Alright. Okay. Let's try and lift that up a little bit. Just a little bit. I know they should be able to climb underneath there, but whether they can climb up it is another thing. That's uh, got me a bit baffled, but we'll see. We'll see. So what we'll do, we'll just delete this. Just hopefully they'll be able to go under there. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see if that is enough. Don't think that is actually counting as hard shelter. That is unfortunate, actually. So what we might have to do is might have to actually have... Really, that should count as hard shelter. Or is it just not enough? Maybe. Then again, it would have a percentage on it, though, wouldn't it? So what we're going to do is we'll have a little area back here. Let me move this tree. Move it a little bit over here. Like that. I think that'll be good. And then we'll have another little area that is simply just covered by rock. So put that up like so. Make sure we are in line. The only problem is they might be able to jump up here and that's something that I don't want. But we'll try this and we'll try and make sure that they cannot get through. But we're almost there. We're almost finished. And I think we'll be okay. So let's just see. Make sure there's a pillar. Like so. Might have to remove some more bush to be honest. If there's not enough movement area as well. I've gone a bit wild with the bush to be fair. But I do like the look of it. I do like the way it looks. So let's just see if that counts as hard shelter for them. Which I'm sure it will. But it's just a bit confusing. There we go. That's much better. Now can they get on the rock? That's the question. They cannot. Alright, we'll leave it like that for the moment. We might actually just put another rock just there. Just to avoid that from looking as if it's not supposed to be attached. I think that'll be alright. Just for the moment. We will tidy that up at some point. But I just want to make sure we've got everything okay. Now the water, they're not even interested in going in there, I don't think. So what I will do is I'll have it exist. But we'll make it so that there's literally more rock than there is water. So I think that might improve things a little bit as well. I'm assuming they'll drink from it. Yeah, they'll go in there a little bit. Right, what is the issue here? There's not much issues around there. There's just some bits where they cannot walk. And I'm assuming it, it can't be this place. They can go through it. Let me lower 
Let me lower this just a little bit. Maybe not have it so prominent. And just see if that will help out as well. I want to make sure there's enough room in here. For them all. And I think that'll do it. I think that'll be fine for now. We have one more coming in. I think I don't think they're all in here. But I do believe there is one on the way. Or maybe they are all in here. I think they are. There's three of them. So yeah. No, I think this is looking okay at the moment. What do you guys think? I think this is a great start for the Monkey Sanctuary. Just a beautiful place. Oh, we did have another addition. Hello there. So we do have one male and two females in here. Let me just check that the area is still fine. Just about. We will have to do something about that. Even if it means bringing in some of the rocks. The heart shelter isn't even enough now. Oh boy. Wait a sec. I can help with that. I can literally just do this and I think it'll be enough. Hopefully. I think that'll be fine. That should be okay now. I think. Let me just check. Yeah, that's fine. It's good. Okay, brilliant. That is pretty cool. And we already got people coming in. They are definitely coming in in a horde as well. So we haven't sorted out the introduction area with the food and stuff, but we will sort that out in time. Just want to make sure I have a donation box up because we will need that. Just change the colors like that. And then it'll probably go here. Actually, no, we'll have it just there. And probably there's another place that they can look properly, which is here. Just like that. Amazing. Okay, anyway, I think we are going to leave this video here for today, but do let me know if you like this habitat, if you want me to continue with this. And also some name suggestions for this monkey sanctuary would be very appreciated, because right now, it is simply just monkey sanctuary. And I kind of want to spruce it up a little bit more than that, so do let me know if you have any ideas in the comments. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.